Several years ago, I designed a fly called the Bayman Universal. The Bayman Universal is a fly pattern made out of all bucktail. It's all of pink and white. I got black, flat wax nylon wraps. I tied some peacock curl, that's the only thing that's not bucktail on it, over the back for a dressing. Sometimes I fish them with eyes, 3D soft prism eyes. Lots of times we'll fish them without eyes. It just depends. We tie it in different sizes, depending on the size of the bait that's in the bay. This pattern that I designed about 15, 20 years ago has been fished all over the world now for a species that I never would have thought of fishing for with this fly pattern. It's just a utilitarian, very rugged, very durable fly, but it happens to match all the primary bait colors of the bass that we have in the bay. Olive, it's pink, and it's white. It has a little red gill underneath. We're fishing this pattern on usually intermediate lines with sink rates two to three seconds. We fish it on eight weights, nine weights, and 10 weights, and we strip it really fast. Well, when we lay it out in the water, snake our line out, we put it down, and our strip is a 30-inch strip, so it's about that long, and it's pretty rapid. So it's a fleeing bait fish. The fleeing bait fish uh, in my opinion, draws the most strikes most of the time. So if you could do a clean bait fish or give the illusion that the bait fish is injured, uh, the bass are going to go after that bait fish instead of chasing the other bait fish because it's an easier prey. Another thing that we use on the bay for light tackle is rubber crankbaits. I'm very big on using uh, rubber crankbaits for striped bass that are weighted. Yes! Look at that. Look at the size of that guy. We fish a four inch in a pearl color uh, or in a bunker color. I perfected a technique uh, called the Bayman Bounce. And all the Bayman Bounce is you cast out your rubber crankbait out into the water with your spin gear. It hits the water. You keep the bail open and you let it sink down and you count out the seconds. The weighted rubber crankbaits we use, about four inches, will sink down about a foot a second if you don't have any wind or any water drag at all on the lure. So it sinks down. And as it's sinking down, you just count one, two, three, whatever you need to do to get it subsurface of the depth the fish are feeding at. And when it gets down to the level you want, close up your bail and start cranking it back. You don't stop cranking and every second you bounce the tip of the rod. Boom, 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 boom. You don't break the timing. If you break the timing, the fish loses interest and you'll veer off. Also, you don't stop cranking. You don't do this and jig this and do this. You got to keep cranking the whole time. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. You've got to do that technique, and let me tell you, it drives the bass wild. It looks like a, a fluttering bait fish going through the water and, and is injured, falling out of the school. So it's going boom, falling, boom, falling every second, just like the seconds on a clock. Tick, tick, tick. It's the same way when you fish rubber crankbait. That's called the Bayman Bounce. All right. How about that? First cast in the morning right there.